this guy. Anybody throws Logan today? I want you to say hashtag. Yes. Hashtag Hashtag Alright. I hear it through my nose, and it's a lot of loud noises. All right. We're having freestyle practice today. Coach Lenny Baker, national champ at Brockport. Um, you can't, hashtag you can't stop a shot. <laughs> hashtag I dare you. Hashtag I'm falling by. Hashtag I'm We're doing about 45 minutes of live wrestling today, just like we did yesterday. Sweet. Hey, Dylan, can you drop a ride with your live wrestling? Why? Because I am out of shape. Because Dylan's out of shape. Yeah. This is important because you guys are out of shape. And I don't want you guys to go to Northeast Regionals and get your heads kicked in. Okay. The kids in Pennsylvania want to wrestle six more minutes. The kids in New York right now want to wrestle for about 30 seconds. We need to change that. If you want to wrestle for 30 seconds, then pin or tech your guy. Otherwise, you guys need to get in better shape. Otherwise. So we're wrestling for 45 minutes today. We're drilling shots and reshots today. Uh, Coach Baker's going to help you guys out to make sure that when you take a shot, you score. And when he takes a shot, you score. Okay? So I'm going to let him take over right now. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. Too. That's perfect, actually. Um, that we're gonna do a lot of shadow wrestling. And I know you guys have heard shadow wrestling before. And a lot of you are thinking, ah, it's common sense. It's common sense, I got this. Guess what? Common sense isn't always common practice. Remember that. Common sense isn't always common practice. Which means I can stand up here and tell you guys what to do, and then maybe you'll correct it, but I wanna see what you're doing wrong now before I say anything. So I want you to space out, Face out, get out of here. Get it out of here, get it out of here. Get, get some area. Freestyle. Get some area. Uh, you're acting like you're wrestling somebody. Act like you're performing very well. I'm out there, act like you see somebody. You're going to see a shot. I'm going to tell you right now, nobody in here. Did it right. Not even close. I fired my guy nine times. You did five your guy nine times, so that's good. No one in here did it right. All right, I'm gonna tell you why. Send me a time. And this is where cardio becomes oh, involved. Right? Almost everybody, when they started getting comfortable, they started going like this. That, that's forward and backward. You're not gonna be a good wrestler forward and backward. You gotta be able to move laterally. All right, that's gonna create your angles and set up all your shots. All right. So when you're moving, you you have to be moving like this. In in. Move and move and move then. Down block. See what I'm saying? You gotta move side to side and you gotta keep moving. Alright? So when you're here and you're moving around off your head, boom, fake. In, out. Now, movements, circling, penetration. Some of you are just like this. Alright? Remember, boom, head down. Alright? Back here. Okay. What did I do wrong? Boom, neither did you. Because yeah. you're one of the guys that call it out. <laughs> and I'm going to call you out. Why? Because you know that. Now, this is one of the bigger things, all right? When you get out of shape, third period, or overtime. We were just talking about this. What, what is 90% of wrestlers doing in the third period after they do a fake, or they sprawl, even if they circle? What do they do? Boom. Boom. That's the worst thing to do. I don't care if your legs are on fire. You have to train your body to stay in a stance for 20 minutes. I don't care how long you shadow wrestle for. 20 minutes. Who wrestles? Who wrestles for Fowler, right? Yeah. He was my roommate in college, right? Ask him what I did in the room. He'd walk in, I'd have, I'd have headphones on. I'd have headphones on listening to music, just walking around my room. He'd walk in and be like, what the hell are you doing? Good hair in my head. But I stayed in stance. Yeah, I was down here. Why? Because my freshman, my sophomore year, I lost big matches. Oh, that's the one that I did. Because I got on my stance. So let's say I wrestled 
Joe and he kept stopping my high crotches and that was my go-to move. And I, I had nothing. He ended up beating me in section two finals. What do you think I should shadow wrestling? Snap downs. Snap downs. You can wear a circle with singles. Something else. Because if you don't do it all the time, it's not going to be second nature, all right? So I want circling. I don't want anybody coming out of their stance. And if you do, everybody in the group does 10 burpees, all right? So we all know what that is. Out, jump, okay? Out, jump, all right? I want all the way to sprawl down. I don't want feet underneath me, okay? Get out. Shadow wrestle. I want to see movements. I want to see shots. I want to see sprawls and circling. Guys, 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 I'm going to be hard on you. Just like anything. Shadow wrestle. Good. You're in control of your own career. He took charge of his. He lost the match. He kind of just said, you know, I'm just going to watch TV and rest, and maybe I'll get it next time. So he's like, nah, I'm just never going to lose again. You guys, you guys analyze your losses. When you win, you think you wrestled awesome, right? If I sat all you guys down and we watched my national final match that I won, I wrestled for There was a lot that I could have changed. Okay? So watching your films, Analyzing your losses, that's how you get better. In my freshman year, I was 9 and 16, guys. I mean, I was throwing the Wolves. And sophomore year, I was 33 and 2. 33 and 3. One year later, that was it. All because of one summer. But listen, I can show you takedowns, but without movement, without stance, without lowering your level, I mean, those are all basics to your takedowns and shots. If you don't have those, you're just taking sloppy shots. All right? But some of you have been wrestling for a while and you're athletic, so you're still winning. And you're still finishing. But you're losing that big match. You're losing that big match. Okay? And not to call Andy Hoppers. Okay. Tough wrestler. Wins a lot of matches. Yeah. And <laughs> but, but honestly, constructive criticism. Nothing against him because I want him to be better and I want him to win big matches. His reshots were sloppy. His reshots were sloppy, but he was still finishing. And like I told him, imagine if you if you time those. Imagine if you just get real slick on your reshots. Those matches he's losing or he lost, not anymore. Not anymore. We're gonna, if you're gonna take down, you go 15 seconds on top, or you can just check the person out. We do not let anybody off their back. It's only a minute go. So if you're on your back and you get pinned, you get pinned. But you don't let anybody off their back. You make them earn it.
Patrick Smart is going to lift one leg. You don't know which one. So he's going to lift whatever one he wants. And when he lifts it, so lift that one up, boom, you guys are taking a shot. Just in. You don't have to finish. Then come back out. Stay in here. Boom, you move around a little bit. Boom, he sets up that one. Single. Okay. Lift that one up. Boom. Okay? So you're focusing on staying low and hitting those shots. So now, you're training your body to stay low and you're training your body to, to hit those shots when you see that leg coming up. So if we're here, he takes a double. Boom. There it is. Okay? There's your shot. That's how you're going to score against guys from PA, top dogs. That's how you're going to score your takedown. All right? Take his shot, and then he's gonna come out of his stance. All right. So if he shoots, he shoots in on me. Boom! And I say, look at that. I mean, woo! Hashtag what? Perfection. Perfection. <laughs> Beautiful. Look, another thing for drilling, because you're gonna put it on film, I think. All right. You're gonna notice most people drill like this. Shadow wrestling and drilling is the same as a match. Okay? That's how you get your cardio up. So this is how you drill. You're not gonna do this now, this is just a side note. So we're here, let's say I want to do three high crotches. This is how I'm gonna do my high crotches. See those three? But I take a guy down, right? So I'm here, boom, I take him down. He's down, boom. Yeah. If I let him go, am I doing my partner any justice? Remember, you're only as good as your practice partner. So if you're both good, if you're both pushing each other, you're both going to get that. Alright? So if I just let him off, the benefit of me, he got up like an old man. You know what I mean? So when I take him down, and we're here on the podcast. Oh, and I take him down. I'm not going live. I'm just holding him a little bit. You see how we worked out? That's how you drill. There you go.